Hello everyone and welcome to this video in which I will explain to you how you can use your G29 pedals as uh, rudder pedals if you are flying uh, aircrafts or in this case um, anti-torque pedals if you are flying helicopters. Now if you go to controls you have to make sure that the game has recognized your device. Here it's written Logitech G Hub G29 Driving Force Racing Wheel uh, because you need the wheel and then you plug the pedal to the wheel and the wheel needs to be connected you know how it works if you have uh, a wheel you know how it works now if you don't see your device maybe you have to run the Logitech G Hub software and then you will see that it's recognizing your device this is the case for me I had to run Logitech G Hub. You can download it for free. You can uh, even use it to you know, play with the sensitivity, that kind of thing. So in case you have um, connected and turned on your wheel, but you still can't see your device, uh, try to um, run um, Logitech G Hub in the background. That's the first step. The next step is, um, let me show you a little uh, diagram uh, of the G29 pedals. Um, as you would expect on the right you have the throttle or gas pedal whatever it's called in the middle you have the brake pedal and then at the left uh, you have the clutch so it's easy whatever is completely at the right will control the right pedal in the aircraft or helicopter and whatever is completely at the left will be the pedal that will control either the left rudder or left anti tow pedal and as you know there is no middle pedal but in this case we can also use the middle pedal as uh, uh, the brake if it's an aircraft or even uh, like as you can see the H160 has you know wheels so whatever you want to do but here we are going to be talking about the um, pedals used as rudder or anti torque pedals so you want to assign your flight controls to rudder axis there is something else uh, let me show you um, if I'm able to write it down rudder there it is rudder right your right or rudder left your left you don't want to be using those two guys trust me you can uh, test it and see and you will immediately notice why you have to use an axis okay and that's what we are using so unfortunately to get rid of all this it will keep populating so I have to go back and then come back great technology what do you want 2023 okay so here primary controls rudder axis right and then when you are signing you uh, press the right that is the gas or throttle pedal and then you validate and rudder axis left you do this and then you press the clutch okay and then you validate now if you do only this it's going to work you can even assign uh, the brake uh, if you want right but this is just a test okay uh, this is just a test um, so brakes and you press the brake pedal and then you validate apply and save now you can leave it like this but that's not how you want to use your rudder pedals uh, because if I'm able to show it to you let's uh, get into the cockpit of the nice H160 what I'm gonna show you here is I'm and you can hear it I'm pressing the um, uh, in this case the gas pedal but look at I'm pressing 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 now it moves I'm releasing and then I'm still releasing but it's already completely centered there okay so here too left I'm pressing the clutch which will correspond to the left pressing now it moves so this is why maybe when you are flying for example an aircraft and you are 
you know, um, applying tip off power and then you use uh, your rider pedals, you know, to kind of center it nicely, but you don't see any response and then suddenly it goes to the right or it goes to the left. So why is this? If you go to the sensitivity, uh, by the way, I've already explained this in the previous video when I was talking about the key bindings of the H145, but I wanted to make a separate video and talking uh, more details. That's the culprit. You see, once you have the line, as you can see here, this is, I'm pressing the gas pedal, which will correspond to the right hand title pedal, and this is the clutch. You don't want this slider, that axis, or whatever it's called, that sensitivity, to be like this. How do you want it to be? So, uh, by the way, I also have the A2 command chip. Let's go here. It's the 145, I know, but I'm using exactly the same setting for the 1602. And when you go to sensitivity, do you notice a difference? Of course you do. That's the difference. Okay? Because you are using two axes, or whatever the plural of axis is, you have two. Whereas usually rudder pedals, there are single axis, so they behave differently. So here we have to do this that way. So how do we do it? Uh, I will explain for why it will work for the exactly for the other. So we just copy it like this. This, you know, is not going to do anything. So I will use this as, a, as an example. So here, you know, it's zero sensitivity minus zero sensitivity plus. Uh, you want uh, a dead zone. Why two? Uh, it's because if I put it on zero, you have that little guy here. Okay, just to make it disappear. I use two. As you can see already at one, it went away, but I put it at two. And that's the neutral. You see it's minus 100. Here it's zero by default. You want from here to zero, put it all the way to the left. Okay, and extremity dead zone is the little part here. I like a little bit of dead zone. And reactivity, 100. This is for the gas pedal. And you do the same for the clutch pedal. Okay. For the brake, as you will see, I have left this one straight. But just to show you why I have different... Um, yes, I have changed profile. Like for the A2A command sheet exactly the same except that I find by doing the brake um, sensitivity uh, sensitivity this way it works better you know so you can go ahead now that you know this is the trick to get this only half and that's the half uh, like I said while I was pressing the pedal almost halfway then it kind of registers movement and you will see the difference I hope you will see the difference but I will surely feel the difference because I can't, you know, make a video of my legs pressing the pedals. But trust me when I'm telling you, I am pressing the pedal. So here, once again, I'm slightly... Okay, as soon as I touch, you see the difference? If you go back and watch the initial part of the video, now I'm slightly, slightly, you see, slightly touching. And it's already registering movement slightly touching still touching still touching now you have the full range of motion and if you go ahead and do that you will feel too i can't show you uh, my legs pressing the pedal like you see that smooth uh, just just okay you see then you can find you know tune your um your and uh, like i said if you're flying an aircraft um any aircraft by the way uh, you can uh, keep uh, the aircraft centered when taking off and uh, that's the secret. So I'm going to show it to you again. The sensitivity. So both for the gas pedal, which we are going to use as right rudder or right anti-torque pedal, and the clutch, we are going to use as a left rudder or left anti-torque pedal. This is how you need to set the sensitivity. So zero, zero, a little dead zone of 2% neutral minus 100 completely to the left and then that part here a little dead zone of four five percent and reactivity 200 go ahead do this if you have rudder pedals at least it works for the g29 uh, and i'm sure you will come up with your own settings or whatever pedals you are using so save money
like myself, I did not need to buy radar panels. I wanted to, but then I did that thing. Uh, it was not working before because I had that uh, axis, that axis like this one here, and it was awkward. It was not controllable. I did not have those fine movements. And when I discovered that this is what I had to do, now I don't need to buy radar panels because I already have a wheel. I'm already driving, you uh, know, trucks and American truck simulator, that kind of thing. So why go and buy? you know a separate rudder pedals so go ahead to you guys if you have rudder pedals uh, oh uh, uh, sorry if you have a wheel with pedals this is how you can set the pedals to work as rudder pedals so no need to download additional i don't know plugins or software to kind of combine two uh, axes into one no that's the trick so go ahead and try it and i hope from now on you will have a much better experience flying your favorite aircraft or in my case uh, uh, favorite uh, helicopters so it works with any helicopter and um, you just have to then go ahead and see what works best for you so this is the settings I'm using for the H145 from HPG group Airbus H145 and the H160 I thank you for watching and by the way there will be another video showing you how I am uh, kind of uh, using my uh, PS4 controller to fly the helicopters uh, aircraft and honestly whenever I'm using the PS4 controller that's how I'm using it it's a little um, uh, trick uh, that I've found that works uh, without having to grab and hold the PS4 controller so probably the link will be in the description below so be sure to check that video too and i wish you lots and lots of fun hours in either game that requires rudder pedals or the ps4 control and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching bye bye